हेलो फ्रेंड एमसीक्यू बेस्ड सेरिकल्चर की सेकंड वीडियो में हम लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ बॉम्बेक्स मुरी पे एमसीक्यू देखेंगे एंड हर ऑप्शन का एक्सप्लेनेशन भी इस वीडियो में देंगे सी दिस फर्स्ट एमसीक्यू व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट डिस्क्राइब द सिल्क वॉर मॉर्फोलॉजी सी दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ सिल्क मॉथ ऑप्शंस आर फिदरी बाइपेक्टिनेट एंटीने सी दिस फिदरी बाइपेक्टिनेट एंटीने देन सेकंड ऑप्शन एंटायर बॉडी कवर्ड बाय माइनूट स्केल हियर द एंटायर बॉडी इज कवर्ड बाय माइनूट स्केल then six pair of spiracle laterally present on abdomen and the last option is all of the above all uh, these three a b c options are seen in silk moth that's why here the correct option is all of the above next pair of hook present at the caudal end of male silk moth is called options are harpus second sensory hair third dorsal horn and fourth clasper see this Uh, here the pair of hook present at the caudal end of male silk moth is called harpus correct option is harpus and this harpus used uh, during copulations see this next option sensory hair the sensory hair present in uh, female silk moth dorsal horn present in larvae of silk moth then this clasper is the organ copulatory organ of scolidor next silk moth lays type of eggs options are homolecithal centrolecithal mesolecithal and olecithal see so this silk moth lays centrolecithal type of eggs of correct option is b centrolecithal next mcq in subtropical region silk worm lays type of eggs and options are diapause non diapause both type of eggs does not lay eggs we know diapause which undergoes the dormant period the eggs which undergoes the dormant period Questions is in subtropical region like India, silk worm lays type of eggs, and here the correct option is non-diapause eggs. Next, yep, MCQ. Larvae of silk worm is called. Options are maggot, grub, nymph, and caterpillar. Here, see this maggot, grub, nymph, caterpillar. These are the larval name of different insect. Maggot is the larva of diptera grub is the larva of coleoptera that's why these two options are incorrect then nymph this nymphal stage found in hemimetabolous insect where only three developmental stages are present now the next option is caterpillar here correct option is caterpillar larvae of silk worm is called caterpillar all lepidopteran larva are called caterpillar and this silk worm included in family lepidoptera lepidoptera that's why correct option is cater Next, which of the following is characteristic of silk worm larvae? Options are large head, wrinkled body with bristle, polypod type with spinnerate, voracious feeder. We know larva is larva is the voracious feeder. Then in silk worm larvae, spinner spinner spinnerate is present, which uses the silk. Then uh, larva also have a large head, wrinkled body with bristle. That's why the correct option is all of the above. then dorsal anal horn present at abdominal segment of silk moth larvae one option first uh, option a is first second option third uh, third option sixth and last fourth option is eighth here the correct answer is eighth dorsal anal horn present at eighth abdominal segment of silk worm larvae next in silk worm silk gland is a modified options are salivary gland digestive gland poisonous gland and labial gland in silk worm the silk gland uh, synthesizes the silk okay which help to form the cocoon around the pupa body so this silk gland is modified modification of salivary gland the correct option is salivary gland this gland is also called as labial gland that's why here correct option also labial gland silk gland is a modified salivary labial gland or salivary glands next isiwata gland present in female silk worm at abdominal segment see this uh, if you see the male silk worm and female silk worm this isiwata glands present only in female silk worm and this gland present at the 8 and 9th abdominal segment that's why here the correct option is 8 and 9th abdominal segment other options are between 8 and 9th next 7th and 8 and between 7th and 8 but here the correct option is at 8th and 9th abdominal segment this isiwata gland present and uh, this isiwata glands is a part of reproductive system. 
Next MCQ. Thyroid gland in male larvae of silkworm is a parts of options are reproductive system, digestive system, respiratory system, and nervous system. This thyroid glands in male larvae of silkworm is a parts of and correct option is reproductive system. Next, silk is made up of protein. Options are fibrin, sericin, then fibrin and sericin, and then fibrin. Here, the correct option is fibrin and sericin. Next, how many times silk larvae mold? Options are 3, 4, 5 and 6. We know uh, there are 5 instars present in silk, uh, silkworm development. Okay, 5 larval stages are present in the, during the in silkworm development. That's why here the question is how many times silkworm larvae mold? Mold, mold, molting means casting of skin. How many times silkworm larvae cast their skin? And the correct option is if there is a 5 instar larvae, then the uh, mold, mold, molting, how many times the, the silicone larvae mold? 4 times. If there is a 6, then the molting time, mold, then how many times silicone larvae mold? 5. But here we know 5 instars are present in silicone, that's why the times of mold is 4. Next. Average lifespan of silk moth larvae is options are 20 to 30 days, 30 to 40 days, 40 to 50 days, and 10 to 20 days. And the correct option is 30 to 40 days. Then, last instar larvae of silkworm by spining silk form covering around body. Each covering is called as options are cocoon, second option, sail, third, body cover, and last pupa. We know. The silkworm pupa is covered by a silk thread and this silk thread is called the cocoon. The correct option is cocoon. Next, resting non-feeding stage of silk moth development is egg, larva, pupa and adders. See this here. These are the developmental stages of silk moth. Egg, then larva, then pupa and adult. Here, resting non-feeding stage of silk moth development is the correct option is pupa. Here's cocoon means next MCQ. Options are cocoon having intact silk thread, cocoon from which adult moth emerge. Next option double cocoon. Then last option is cocoon from which moth not emerge. Here, Pierce cocoon is the defective cocoon, and Pierce cocoon means the cocoon from which adult moth emerge. The correct option is B. Cocoon from which adult moth emerge. Next, biovolatile silk moth means options are two generation per year, one generation per year, many generation per year, and generation beyond one year. See this silk moth classified into univoltine, biovolatile, and multivoltine. Univoltine means it lay, yeah, it will complete one generation per year. It lay eggs one time in a year. Here the question is biovolatile. Bi means two. The correct option is. Two generation per year. If here the multivoltine, then many generation per year. See this option generation beyond one year. The generation beyond one year means semi voltine Okay. So here bivoltine silk moth means the two generation per year. This silk moth complete. Next, average lifespan of multivoltine adult silk moth is options are three to four days, five to ten days, ten to twenty days, and one to two days. Here, univoltine, multivoltine, biovoltine, adult silk moth lifespans are different. The question is average average lifespan of multivoltine adult silk moth is 3 to 4 days. Options, correct option is 3 to 4 days. Next is the feeding stage of silk moth during development. Feeding stage, larva, options are larva, then pupa, adult and all of the above. See this here, in silk moth, during development, only one stage is a feeding stage and this stage is called as larval stage. Here the correct option is larva. Next, silk moth development is ometabolus, hemimetabolus, holometabolus and hypermetabolus. Ometabolus means there is no metamorphosis, it's called ometabolus. Then hemimetabolus, we know red cotton bulb in which only the three developmental stages are present, egg, nymph and adult. Holometabolus in which all four developmental stages are present like eggs, 
larvae pupae adult and hypermetabolism is uh, various numbers of uh, larval developmental stages are present so we know silk moth development passes through eggs larvae pupae and adult that's why the correct option is holometabolus